The Pistons Academy is about to tip off its summer basketball camps. The program helps kids develop their love for the game and also builds life skills. Joining us this morning is Aaron Smith, the director of youth engagement and development for the Pistons Academy. Also joining us is Earl Curitan, the Pistons community ambassador. Good morning to you both. Morning. Thanks for having us. Of course. Thank you so much for being here. So the Pistons Academy actually starts this weekend. Uh, what's expected this year? Anything new? Well, I mean, last year, you know, we got started back again after yeah. having a big setback and we were able to do a lot of schools, had a lot of kids. And so we're really ready uh, to, to dig right in, right? And Aaron's preparing and getting everything. Oh, yeah. We got 13 cities we're going to this summer. Um, we're beginning this Monday, actually, at Detroit Country Day High School. So we're going to be all over the state of Michigan having some fun. It's time to put the cell phones down and let's get in the gym and get active and get to work. I like the sounds of that. Yeah. How do you guys pick these locations? Because there's so many places I feel like that people in Michigan need a good game of basketball. Yeah, there's only, you know, so many weeks in the summertime. And so, you know, each year we try to just find new areas that are interested in the, in the game. Um, we try to grow the, the game from a grassroots level. So we just try to pick those locations that that you know they, do, they love the game. Um, they want to have the youth basketball presence. And so, you know, we partner with those organizations, those, those cities, and, and we go there and have a great time and knock it out the park. Doing a lot of it in the city now. You know, we, uh, we spread it out, though. We get out, but a lot of stuff. We'll even be at our practice facility. Yeah. Have a big one down at the practice facility where the kids will be able to come. Uh, but, it's, you know, it's just always a lot of fun. Uh, Aaron's got his crew there. They do a <laughs> fabulous job of putting everything together. Yeah. Uh, they invite me in to come in and have conversations with the kids and sign autographs. No, don't don't let him fool you. He <laughs> his story's amazing. He does a great job. The kids can really relate to Earl. And it's like two people. Sure. Earl was good enough to make the NBA. I wasn't good enough to make the NBA, but we have two stories that I think really intertwine and we relate to every kid, whether you're a you know, a young, shy third grader or you think you're a superstar eighth grader we have something for all those kids and <laughs> boys and girls it's not just about basketball either you know we get a chance to educate the kids a little bit important of education and all those things so when they come in they get basketball and they you know they, they get a good conversation from all the counselors we got good people working with yeah. a great staff no doubt with us, so. no doubt now i assume yeah. that you guys obviously you meet a lot of kids over these summer months what is the experience like for them? Because for a lot of kids, I mean, a program like this can really change lives. Yeah, I think just the positivity um, that we're, we're keen on bringing every single week. You know, the world is tough nowadays, you know, to be honest, for a kid. And so to give them a week of, of, of competitive fun, but also using, you know, basketball as the carrot to kind of teach life lessons of, of work ethic and, and how to win, how to lose, how to be a good person off the court. These are things that, you know, other than just dribbling, passing and shooting, you're going to get from our camps. And so, you know, I think parents can know it's going to be a fun, safe environment where we're going to grow their love for the game. Um, but at the same time, to Earl's point, we're going to teach them about the importance of, of being a good person, of being a positive person, and having a positive outlook on, on what's going on. And then some of them want to become better basketball players, like you. You know, we're talking about bringing, <laughs> you know, bring, we may bring you I in. wore my orange. Yeah. I was hoping I looked you, like a basketball. <laughs> I want you to work on your game. You, know, you come in, spend a week with Aaron, and we'll was, get you ready. I was telling them in the commercial break, in fifth grade, I played basketball one season, started dribbling down the wrong end of the court, and all the kids were like, where are the other you're supposed to be shooting in the other basket. Well, it happens all the time. <laughs> we'll straighten all that out for you, see? But yeah. you know what? I learned a lot. I learned I can't play basketball. <laughs> and, but I played as a team, and I wanted to quit so bad, but I kept going. Love that. That's a great yeah. Yeah, yeah that's and that's the lesson. So hopefully a lot of other kids that may be just a little awkward like me will yeah. learn that lesson. I mean, there's plenty to pick up here. You're, you're working as a team in a community. That's it. And I think, you know, basketball is like one of the biggest microcosms for life. I mean, it's a team sport. You got to learn how to work with people, um, you know, in a team setting. And that's, you know, as you do at, sure, at your job and we do at our jobs every single day. So I just love the fact that we can provide that for these kids. Um, again, a fun, safe environment, but also real life lessons that you're going to take with you far beyond that one week of camp. Well, Aaron catch them at a young age, you know, sportsmanship. Yeah. He yeah. talks about that all the time, you know, how to be a good teammate. You know how to because you need to learn that when you're young so that you know you don't grow up and you understand that there's more to it than just going out there playing you know don't don't take the losses too hard don't don't celebrate too much with the wins but always be a great teammate and he stressed that throughout the whole camp and one day you might just have a funny story that you get to share 100 <laughs> percent. <laughs> all right aside from me where can people go to register is it too late Absolutely not. We have Good. a few that are already sold out, but we're all over the place, um, including Detroit. So visit PistonsAcademy.com. Um, all of our information is on there. The camp schedule's right there on the website. 
and we'd love to see everybody out there. Come have some fun with the Detroit Pistons this summer. We're going to have, you know, obviously Earl, other special guests, extreme team, some of our, some things that you see at Little Caesars Arena, you're going to see at our basketball camps, the championship trophies, we have DJs. So it's more than just learning how to dribble, pass and shoot. I keep saying that, but it's a lot of fun. So come join us. Let's have some fun this summer. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Earl, Aaron, thank you both so much for thank being so here much. this morning. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank of you. course. Of course. Thank you. Thank you we'll, so much. We'll be much. looking for you. Oh, gosh. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know who you have a better chance of catching is meteorologist Mike Taylor. Uh, Mike, do you, you look like you play basketball. You're taller than me.